In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. As we come together this morning as the schools in St. Mary's Parish community, in this new year, even if it's only virtually, we remember the importance of that star which the wise men from the East followed in order to meet the Lord, Jesus. And once they encountered the Messiah, they left by a different route because they were changed. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this liturgy of the word, 
we remember our need for God's abundant mercy. Lord Jesus, you are light to all nations. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of wonder, help us to have as much faith as the wise men who followed your star to find Jesus. Lead us down the right paths and help us to recognize Jesus in the people that we meet as we travel through life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice, because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you, the young camels of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To a king's son, your justice, that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. In his days, justice shall flourish and peace till the moon fades. He shall rule from sea to sea. He shall see the great river to her skies.
shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all rulers shall fall prostrate, all nations shall serve him. and save the lives of the poor. Lord, every nation on earth will adore The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him, and calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. Then they saw that the star had stopped. They were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gift of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, this is a remarkable uh, celebration, the epiphany of the Lord. The word epiphany means revelation or, or manifestation. Fancy words for 
the revealing of who Jesus is. And he's a savior for all. Not just a small number of people, not just an elite group, not just a, a country far away, but for the whole world, for everyone. And this passage from Matthew's Gospel says uh, that the Magi have come to worship him. We've come to worship him. And that was the theme for World Youth Day in Cologne, Germany, uh, over 16 years ago. You know, uh, that's before any of you were born, any of you students were born. And I was had the opportunity to go to that World Youth Day because it was the first one after World Youth Day in Toronto when Pope John Paul II came to Toronto. And so we got to travel to Cologne, Germany, where the relics of these three wise men, these uh, Gaspar, Balthazar, and Melchior, uh, these three wise men, their relics, are in the crypt in the cathedral in Cologne. And so whenever you're part of World Youth Day, there's a, a big mass with the Pope where everybody goes to this site, like a, in Toronto it was at Downsview Air Force Base, but uh, in Cologne it was in a field outside of the city. And there were different buses, routes that went there, and, and the bus that went from just outside of our um, hostel that the World Youth Day group from Toronto was, was staying in, uh, that bus took us and closer and closer, and it even passed other buses that had stopped and were letting off pilgrims to begin their walk to the site. And we got right up close, like within 150, 200 meters of the site. It was just incredible. And, uh, and when we stayed overnight with the, uh, with the vigil, that's when I realized you know, I was over 40 at that time. I probably shouldn't be camping out overnight with teenagers in a big field in, in the middle of the summer. But uh, we went to, uh, went to Mass. We had Mass with, uh, and then it was Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, and, and after Mass, we had to make our way back home. And so we went back to the same gate that they had dropped us off at in those buses and oh my stars it was <laughs> oh my stars it was hours and hours uh, we had to, we were hungry we were thirsty it was hot we were sweating it was almost unsafe with the crowds pressing in and we we uh, we got home it was like after midnight and uh, got back to that, that hostel. And the next morning, we reflected on our journey back and we realized, ah, we should have gone home by a different route. You see, the Magi, they encountered Jesus, they encountered the Messiah, and then they went home by a different route. Either they were warned or they were afraid of King Herod, whose own downfall was predicted in the same prophecy that said that Bethlehem was going to be the place where he was, where Jesus, the Messiah, was going to be born, and, and that a star would rise, also said that Herod was going to get dispossessed, was going to lose his throne. The Magi will have none of Herod's devious plan. And they go uh, home because of their encounter by a different route, not by the same road. And, and I think that that's a great thing for us to think about. 2,000 and some odd, 20 some years later, to think about how we can be different because we encounter Jesus. We encounter Jesus when we come to Mass. We encounter Jesus when we gather to pray as a, 
as a school community, when we gather to pray as a classroom, when we pray with one another in our families, we encounter Jesus. And how are we changed by that encounter? How will we do things differently, treat people differently? How will we go down a different road than the road that we got here on? You know, the gifts that the Magi offered, the gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, have great symbolic meaning, have great meaning in themselves. The gold is a reminder that Jesus is royalty, that he is king of kings. And the incense, because it was used in the temple to, to offer worship and praise to God, incense was a sign of uh, Christ's divinity, of the divinity of Jesus, his divine nature. And the myrrh, which is really an oil that's used for anointing those who have died at the time of Jesus, that shows Jesus' hum humanity, particularly in his passion and his death. And as much as at Christmas time we're drawn to the wood of the cradle, the baby Jesus, we're directed by this epiphany celebration, we're directed to the wood of the cross. And we put our gifts, the gifts of who we are at the service of God. The, our very lives. And that's not going to be gold or frankincense or myrrh. Our very lives are transformed when we encounter Jesus and we walk away differently, changed by a different route. For today, here in our prayer, each day in your classroom, each day in your home, we encounter a Savior for all. At the feet of Jesus, the greatness of His mercy and love. At the feet of Jesus, I holy, 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 and we
Let us stand and offer our prayers, our petitions to our Heavenly Father as we begin this new calendar year. For the church throughout the world, called to follow the light of Christ's star wherever it may lead, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school communities in St. Mary's Parish, that we may offer all of the gifts that we have to Jesus each and every day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us, as we plan to return to school next week, may we show love and support to all of those in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, for those who are burdened, and for all of those who help the sick to get better and care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, for those who mourn, particularly at this time of year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We gather all of our prayers together into one as we pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Generous God, we give thanks for all that you have given us. Open our hearts to follow you, so that all that we do may be guided by your love. And we make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. This final blessing has three parts, and I invite you to respond amen each time I lower my hands. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who has appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine till Jesus comes. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. This little light of mine, whoa, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine.